My name is Derek Shumway. I um, work for Glonex, and today we're going to demonstrate how to apply CVS PK solar film. And what the film does is it helps protect your solar panels from any dirt, uh, any type of grime, or anything that would otherwise stay on your solar panels. As well, this stuff can also be applied to uh, your office windows, and what it does is it keeps the UV rays out. So. Uh, so what we're going to do is start out by using a bottle here. In this bottle it's about a quart of water and it also has about a teaspoon of baby shampoo. And it's enough to uh, clean the glass but without leaving any type of residue. So it's a streak free process. And so first you're, you're going to want to spray the window and then you're going to want to have a window scraper and you're just going to scrape across. And you got, you're going to scrape away from you. And what this does is it gets off any of the uh, particles that are stuck onto your window that otherwise you may not be able to see. And you can do this as many times as you want to ensure that um, your window or your glass is clean. And then what you're going to do is you're going to spray again. And you're going to take a squeegee. And you're going to want to use a no lint cloth or a microfiber cloth, anything that doesn't leave any particles behind because the ultimate goal here is to put this film on there with no bubbles or any contents under or in between the window and the film itself. So, Okay, and then what you'll want to do, if you're putting this on a window, you'd want to just wipe around the corners to make sure that any excess water on there is taken out because it's going to get that dirt out. You don't want that dirt in there by any means. Otherwise, it's going to get stuck under and between your solar film. So next, what we're going to do is we already have a pre-cut piece out. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take this water bottle, reapply your water on there, and then you're going to take your film. Here's your film, and really what this is is a sponge. Well, we didn't we didn't need to use a sponge because we already had scraped the window so many times. Okay. What you can do, Eric was asking me about the sponge. Some people in the process, after they scrape it, they'll take a sponge and wipe it on the glass to ensure that you know scrape off any anything else. Um, you can use a sponge like this or like a Teflon sponge. Um, but I didn't do that because we had scraped this so many times prior to. So I just skipped that part. So I went ahead and squeegeed the uh, glass and now we're ready. And I sprayed water on the glass so now we're ready to get apply this piece onto the window. Now this, this film it's actually got two pieces. And the best way without losing any patience is to take some scotch and apply it to both sides. 
And what this will do, you'll then be able to pull apart, um, be able to pull apart the pieces um, with much ease. So what we're going to do here is you can see that the scotch tape pulls the two pieces apart. One, soft, one side is a smooth side and the other side is a little, little sticky. That sticky side is what's going to be applied uh, face down onto the window. So what you're going to want to do as you pull this away, you're going to want to spray it. Um, what this does, it takes out any static electricity that may otherwise uh, pull any type of particle to the window. Yeah. So next, we come here. the piece on the window. Now typically, typically, since this was already a pre-cut piece, typically what you're going to want to do is go ahead and have excess. Go and have excess on this windshield or the glass and that way you can cut it more to form. But now you, we've got it on there and you want to spray some water on there like I did and what you're going to do is I'm, I'm using a plastic uh, tool putty knife but um, you can also use there's a smoothie squeegee you can use this works fine um, what you get then what you do is you work on getting all the bubbles out and you work on getting all the water out that's between the film and the glass and so you want to really make sure you get it right because once it dries it's dry now the drying process takes a while it's not like it dries in five minutes but for it to fully adhere you're probably gonna want to give it a week and about after a week you're gonna want to know if it should be ready to go That's pretty well adhered. So, since this was already pre-cut, it, it's hard to show, but what you're going to want to do after that inch, you're going to want to take a knife like this and an item like this, and what you're going to do is, you know, cut along, cut any excess. So, um, in this case, you can just easily rub against the glass, but if you're on a window application, You'll want to put put this, wedge this in between the glass and the frame and run your blade down and run it simultaneously. And then that'll, so it'll leave, it'll end up leaving a small gap, about 16 inches, but it'll, it does the job, it helps with the adhesion. So, plus it won't pull any water back under the, uh, film. 